If you guys are not familiar with Bitcoin mining in particular, it's gone through basically a lot of different stages. For a while, uh, one of the concerns was, of course, centralization surrounding mining itself. And this was because mining pools were launching, everybody was hopping on the mining pools, and it looked really bad kind of for a little bit. And so what came out after that was something called p to pool And what p to pool allowed you to do essentially, and I'm not gonna go into crazy details. If you want a separate video, we could go over the history of Bitcoin mining and all of the details in this, but it would take me pretty much this whole hour to go through it, I feel like. So we're just gonna kind of do the brief overview. The basic brief overview of P2Pool basically meant that you could stand up a node on your local network, mine to that, and basically still submit shares in a pool function. And then P2Pool would just pay you out to whichever wallet you selected or to the wallet that was built into your node. And that is essentially how it functioned, and it was for decentralization. Moving on from there, everybody kind of went back to the pools. It's more profitable, that sort of thing. And so we kind of are in this position where we're on flooded mining pools and there are people looking for solutions and one of the newest solutions is called braid pool so i wanted to give it attention because i think that it's important to basically give as much attention to essentially um decentralization options furthering going into that direction as much as possible so what I have here is just a, a brief overview of it. It's, uh, a, it was an opinion piece on Bitcoin Magazine, and it says uh, Braid Pool, another iteration. So another iteration, this is talking about kind of the history, P to pool payments, channel payouts, there you go. And then uh, Braid Pool. So enter Braid Pool, and this is a PDF download from GitHub. I did have the GitHub, I tweeted it yesterday, but Braid Pool is a proposal from Bob, McElrath and Coop, Coolpreet Singh, I think I can do the last name there, uh, building on Belcher's proposal using payment channels. There are two major channels introduced that improve on outstanding issues left with Belcher's proposal. The first is an alteration in how the hubs and miners communicate with each other. They propose having miners attach a Tor V3 address to each of the shares they broadcast to the pool. This way, the hub can operate without exposing any network endpoint that is susceptible to DOS attack. The hub operator can then connect to miners in order to open and update channels with them, alleviating the need for miners to use multiple hubs in order to avoid a single point of attack. This allows a braid pool to operate with a single hub, making the entire system more robust and capital uh, efficient. The second change is the use of a directed uh, a silic graph, a DAG, instead of a, of a share chain. The problem with the share chain was that with the 30 second share time target, the difficulty required for shares increased as the pool grew in size, making it more difficult for smaller miners. Using a DAG like Ethereum, where it is not a zero sum game of single share, making it into the share chain and others being orphaned allows miners to dynamically set a difficulty for shares that can be adjusted based on the hash rate they have and how frequently they can find shares with it. The DAG structure includes everyone who has participated in it between actual found Bitcoin blocks, distributing the word rewards proportionally between everyone based on work that they have provided to the DAG. This solves the scaling issue of variance for individual miners as the pools grow larger. Aside from these two changes, the rest of the structure is just like Belcher's proposal. The Coinbase and channel scripts are the same. Anyways, um, I think that overall, um, I have this link down below. Talk to people about it. Let them, let them know. Uh, go throw some likes at the GitHub. I'll link that later. Uh, you can also find it on my, uh, on my Twitter. So it's not ready yet. <laughs> Essentially, the GitHub is a readme with some code, but not really like accessible code. Other than you can get the source code, you can make commits, that sort of thing. You can't actually like build a package or anything like that.
I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.